phone call last time. I think last time it worked. I'm not sure. Uh, we're on the difference in Sneota, so we'll start going back and forth a little uh, over here, and I think we are, uh, where could we be? Uh, we're on Tadja as Tadja, the word Tadja. Let me get this going here. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Uh, so here we are. Tadja, the wet word refers to the service in May Chuva. It says right here, Fanisem. So that word, afflict yourself, is lush and slicho. How does that work? So it says, number Vav says, Vyaf and Shah, Bir Khan explains it like this, Vizel the Shana, Vyomer, Alehem, Alokim, Taj Haaraz Desha, Asiv, Mazria, Zera, Eitz, Pri, etc. He says, if you count them up, Be'elo, Eser, Tevos, with these ten devas, ten words, Rumaza, Mesar, Simei, Tshuva. So here you have the ten days of repentance are mentioned in that. Behind the Vichasid, Va'anisem, because then it says, Va'anisem, Esnaf, Shosechem, Batesha, the Chodesh, Be'erev, at the ninth time after the ninth day, of the nine days, Bahaku Zimna, Shuhu Zaman uh, Yom Hakipurim on that at that time. So that Zaman, so what is that time? He says that's the time of Slicho Vakapara. So nothing particularly profound there. There is going to be some profound stuff here. I'm not sure what we'll get it. Let's see how we'll do. So it says like this. Um, next one says here's another idea. Tadja e refers to Ever. The Ever of what? The Tisha Tikuni, the Tisha Tikuni Dikna of Zeranpin, Va'anisim, is later that he's born out. So this is a little bit more uh, mysterious. Rebbe, Babir HaMeshula, the Viagroa, so the Agroa. She is Baraki Maima Tadja Aretz. What does that say? Tadja is like, the, like uh, you know, causing something to. I don't know, Peter, I'm not sure. It's a swar in the grasses he's talking about here. Who besowed Ever Tesha Tikuni Dikna the Zer Anpin Besoch Ima? Now this is a fact that I think I don't have an evidence. Of course that Zer Anpin does have nine Tikuni, but I thought that took place in his beard. I thought took that took place as it was growing, you know, after the later. Here he says it takes place over in the Kitina Dikna the Zer Anpin while he sits is still in embryonic stage. Also that, uh, it says like this, Omer HaPasuk, Tadshe Besod Tazria, with Hazria, Hazroas, which is the idea of planting, but planting what? The Tesha Tikuni Dikna Besoch Ima, inside of Ima, while Ver Zer Anpin is still embryonic. He says that the seeds for his beard, which is the beard, of, let's say, that's going to ultimately bring mercy uh, down to us, uh, is it, it's planted all the way back then. And then it says, and let it be like that. Uh, let it be so. Uh, that's talking about the evil itself. So one is planting, and then the came, mean it refers to, I don't know, the embryonic child of Zeranpin. But apparently the beard goes all the way back, according to the Groa. That's actually the time when things are when of, of birth. But so the Pasuk, and this is the secret of the Totza Ha'aretz Desha, he saw a Beniftachim Shari Bina, and then open up the gates of Bina, Atzma. He said, now when Totza Ha'aretz Desha, that means the opening up of those gates, he says, when do you do that? On the ninth day of the month. That's when the Axba Eftek of Bina is, becomes revealed. Which is also called the world beyond or the next coming world. Which is a time when there is no need for eating and drinking in Bina. Abisod inui nefesh, which is the concept of affliction of the soul, let's say, so to speak, uh, afflicting. Uh, I guess it means suppressing, suppressing the 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 spiritual part, or, or suppressing some aspect that has to do with the nefesh, which is um, 
I'm saying that's the physical spirit, spirituality and going to a state of not eating. So that means the air of Yom Kippur, the Hainuchah Yom Kippur, and that's what it means. Okay, that didn't seem to go with the first part, but that's what we're talking about here. Uh, that's what the Ra says, and he introduced an idea of the fact that Sir Anpin's spirit <coughs> is planted in him uh, when he's still embryonic. Uh, so it goes along, grows along with him. So now he has a, there's a new one here, Desha, and this has some arichos on it. I don't know if we'll do it today, so we'll see what we do. So Desha is Din Shala, it really refers, is, is uh, the first letters of these three words, Din, Shalom, and Emes. So then, uh, and it refers to the time of Be'er of Yom Kippurim. Bezoar Chai, he says, of Be'er Kan Bezel Deshona Besod Desha, he says, Amar uh, Noshu Besod Din Shalom. So it's like a kind of, of, of Din, Shalom, and Emes. So how do you get that? So, so he says, Sha'alehem, on regard to them, Olam Oma, that these three things, what are the three things again? He says, uh, they're Din, Shalom, and Emes. That's the world, that's what allows the world to stand. Olam Oma. So now we say, uh, of so the Din, Barosh Hashanah. So the Din, it takes place at Rosh Hashanah. The Azhu Nasir, because that's when the Nasir takes the place. Bahamitok Shaladinim who sowed shalom and so sweetening the dinim that are found at that time is the concept of uh is shalom. Let's say so how's this go? Who be sodos the and this this shalom is found in the Yesodos, the Oz who priests shalom shall chasadim, uh the sukos shlomecho, the uh uh the chasadim, the sukas shlomecho. Now some of this, some of the words here were hard for me to string together. So Rosh Hashanah, so we understand that that's the beginning of the Nasira, and there's a mitzvah dinim that takes place during the period of time. So let me just reading again. Shall hadinim who sowed shalom? So because shalom is one of the words, it's the second word. Who who the oz? So that takes place on sukkos. Thus is a priest of Shalom shall chasadim de Sukkah Shlomecho. Sukkah Shlomecho. Vesod, Vesod Emes, so that's two two items. So he said Emes, so it stretches for the first day of Rosh Hashanah all the way back down to, unfortunately, what happened this last Shavuos, the last Sukkos, rather, Simchas Torah. He said Shalom Vesod Emes, Arei B'Yom Kippurim, that's on the day of Yom Kippurim, Ki, uh, uh, Ki, Chosmach Emes, because its seal, that's the seal of Emes, there be Yom Kippurim, takes place of um, Yom Kippurim. Then he says, if you're of Yom Kippurim, uh, Aboyim, Miskashrim, Elush, Shalosha, they all come together, all, all tied together, that is Din, Shalom, and Emes. Biacha, they come together, together. Okay, together. They come together. So he says, uh, Biacha, uh, uh, so let me see. The fish of Oz should stay in the den of the Nisir shall hold. So he said, well, "Let's go back." He says, "Because you have to see the Nisir is taking place over these ten days of repentance." And he said, "The fish of Oz. When is Oz?" He says, "This is the era of Yom Kippur, and it's stay in the den. That's where the den stops. For the Nisir shall hold, and hold is is uh, Nasser." Uh, you sow the ma that is not just hold, but the bottom, the uh, bottom three sow ma. Uh, you sow, uh, uh, gosh, I can't get it out. Hold, you sow the malchus, the rosh hashanah. That's what happens. That that that, that nasira finally takes place at that time. A kumelis be'er of yom kippurim, and they receive at the time of the era of yom kippurim. Shnei chasadim. Now, so what is this? Where is this yom kippurim? Two chasadim come in. Uh, 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 min chasadim panemium. So they come through these, the sodim chasi, uh, uh, panemium. Uh, the sukkah shalom, that sukkah shalom, shaniknas sod chesed, that w- enters in the sod of chesed, harisham biyom echad the sukkah mevucha for yadua, which is explained. So he says, now there's some inter- interference on your line sometimes. 
Another another sound is coming in. Another something else coming in. Okay, let's go back. Let me go back. Shnei chasadim. So he says, a mekabelas be'erev yom mekapurim. Shnei chasadim be'agav min chasadim penimim. So here he's talking about chasadim penimim. Is there another kind of chasadim too? Uh, so he says that this is the son of Panemias that come from this concept of Sukkah Shalom. Shemniknas sowed chesed the Rishon biyom echo the Sukkos kabavur v'yidua. So all of this, I'm not sure that I know this, but maybe I, I should. Echo besowed emes shal yom mikapurim, and then you have the emes of yom mikapurim. Mikabelas be'er of yom mikapurim is received over there. There's another one, the other one of emes. Through eating on the day before Yom Kippur, Shal Yad in this kind of mitzvahs on Nisa Mesnafsho Sechem, because through this, uh, you're fulfilling this phrase, on Nisa Mesnafsho Sechem, Ubezecha be Erev Yom Kippurim, on this, there on Erev Yom Kippurim, Az Huba Bechinis Tadshah Arz Desha, Din Shalom Emes, etc., Did Din Shalom and Emes, Ad kan ein sham od barucha. So there are. Uh, I'm going to stop this here because I'm going to go to the pace of pace of sheer. We have until what time today? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. All right. Let me stop this here, and we'll go.